<laughs> that with that. Uh, now, Roiland, it's but, the start of a brand new year. So have you stopped to think about what you'd like to improve on in your life coming up this year? Well, no, I spent yesterday in bed and now I'm here. No? No, I don't really know. But actually, to be fair, yeah, I have. Have you? Yeah, because it's a new year, you, you start to have these thoughts, don't you? And I do believe that that moment is right now. Now, all this month, Giles Brandreff is on a mission to improve your mind, body and soul with some small everyday changes that could make the world of difference to your life. Yeah. Uh, morning, Giles. And you're not alone. You've recruited some help. I've um... recruited two important helpers and I've also been given a new name. Thank you, because this is really sending <laughs> right. me west, please. It, I'm going to go back up? to the old name, if you don't mind. I, we prefer it. Annabelle, would you help me put oh. on my new name? Just cover up Giles your name. Now? I spell my Giles with a Y. We've oh. got Annabelle oh. and, and we've got, got with an and I. Let me introduce you. <laughs> Annabelle, you know, we in fact go back right a long way, don't we? Why, why is that not a shock to me? Maybe 20, uh, 25 years? 25 maybe? years. Yeah, it was fun when it more. lasted. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a new friend I'd like you to meet. This is my friend Fanola. She is a physiotherapist. And when I broke my arm about 18 months ago, the consultant sent me to see a physio. And she seemed so brilliant. She's been a physio for 14 oh. years, but she also was trained in psychology, that as we were making conversation, I thought, let's actually, new year, new, new, New us. Mind, body and soul. We need the whole package to be happy people. We know we must be healthy people, but to be truly happy, less stress-filled, what can we do? Mind, body and soul. So we are here every Monday to try and help you with your mind, your body oh, and soul. Oh, this is a thing now? It's a thing That's now. A thing. Oh, it's lovely. A thing yeah. now. This is the This Morning Wellness Clinic. Right, Welcome open. to it. <laughs> It's it, open. You've it, even got your own, like, graphics and everything. There we are. There we go. Absolutely. Mind, body and soul. And I want you, first <laughs> yes. of all, because we're going to begin with mind. Go on. Okay. It, you know, your brain, it's a muscle. If you yeah. don't use it, you lose it. But there's lots of research that shows if you do something new, something different, you challenge yourself and you actually improve your mind. You help your mind live longer and work better. Yeah. What better example than you? Is it true that you hadn't danced before last year? No, not really. I did a little tiny bit of ballet when I was a kid, and that was it. So um, you're right. I think when you're young, you're always learning something new. Everything is new, isn't yeah. it? But when you get a bit older, there's very few times when you're actually challenging yourself mm. and doing something completely different other than the routine that you live life in. So to go and learn dancing and, as you say, use your mind to learn all these steps and challenge your body and your mind, it's, it's amazing. The, it's the learning the new steps. It's connecting yeah. the synapses in new and exciting ways. Same thing can happen if you learn a new language for example, yep. or if you learn to play a game like chess or Scrabble, playing with words, playing with numbers. Actually, joining a choir can be learning something new. Joining a book club, learning to read a book in a different way. So that's my mind secret. Uh, did you have a technique when learning all the new dance moves? Because I don't know how people <sighs> remember. Well, it's repetition, because on the first couple of days it would be a bit cloudy, and I was just thinking, oh, this is quite terrifying, the mist would come down, and then after a couple of days the mist would lift. Right. And then I thought, oh, it's all kind of connecting up, but I think it's repetition. It's repetition, it? you've got to keep going. You're going to learn to knit this year, just keep going. Don't just do the scarf, end up doing a jumper. Mind, body. We come to the body. body. Yes. We want to walk into the new year, walking tall. Fanula, tell us. So <clears> walking <throat> is the best form of exercise. It's free, first of all. Yeah. Um, it helps with the heart and the lungs. It helps with the mind as well. We know it helps reduce stress, anxiety and depression. And we're going to talk about walking with an upright posture when we walk. OK. Yep. The reason is because research has found that when you walk with an upright posture, it improves your mood immediately. You're less likely to fall or trip over which is how you broke your arm, unfortunately. Yes, silly, so silly really. In the long run as well. <laughs> and it's also more efficient, so you can walk for longer and faster. So we're going to go through some tips. Okay. Giving all your organs a bit more space inside. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> Would you so, be us so can, can we get up yep. and walk? How so should we stand, if you stand when we walk? Up, are we walking right, with you? We're all walking okay. tall. Okay, we don't have to pretend to walk because of space. But right. some of the cues that I give my clients, which tends to work quite quickly, is imagine there's a string pulling you from the top of your head. Okay. So okay. immediately you find you're more upright. Make sure your chin's not lifted. It's still the same position. You're looking straight ahead. Okay. Now everyone relax your shoulders. So, um, we want Good. our arms yeah. to be able to swing freely. So, we tend to walk with our phones quite a lot or a bag. Oh. So, this is more natural. So, when we're born, we crawl and do opposite arm and leg movements, the same when we walk and run. But with phones... So, you shouldn't hold your phone? If you can try to pop it in your pocket when you go for a walk, that would be good. Let your arms swing more freely. It's more efficient and natural. Good. Walk with purpose, so strong strides. Yeah. Which I don't know if we've talked about it, if that makes yes, sense. Yes, because so, I was yeah. shuffling along thinking yeah. I'm yes. an old well, man. You've got to open now. your legs. Said, exactly, yeah, exactly. Actually, get them going. Yes. And you're more likely to fall over if you shuffle. People think you're safer, but it's actually more likely to trip and fall. And the last thing is to breathe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if I say to people to optimise your posture, everyone gets very rigid and they stop breathing. 
If you stop breathing, it's very essential. And if you stop breathing, then there's no point of doing all the rest So what are the benefits to this then? To walking with an upright yeah. posture? It just helps you to walk more efficiently. And because it is such a good form of exercise, you're just going to get more from it. Yeah, yeah. The other it improves th your mood, doesn't it? It improves your mood, yes. So they have done some research into it. So it's a holistic exercise form. I'm going to sit well, back down. Like <laughs> yeah. And then the last thing that we've talked about is regular strengthening exercises. Oh. So you don't have to be a member of a gym. It doesn't have to be really expensive or complex. I tend to give exercises to people when they brush their teeth or if they're making a cup of tea <laughs> or if you're watching TV. I look like a bodybuilder if I was doing it when I brush my teeth. <laughs> no, but doing what I'm doing now, she makes me stand on my, lift my, my toes up. Yeah, so there's heel okay. raises. So these strengthen up your calf muscles and your calves are very important for walking and I balancing. Like so they're good to keep nice and strong. So if you want to do it sitting, you can. We can make it harder by standing up. Quickly. We'll, oh. So we're going to go up and down on our toes. We can help each other balance. And if you really want to challenge yourself... Back in the training room, <laughs> isn't it, Annabelle? Exactly. <laughs> can you try one leg? Going. So one leg oh, is very is the, hard. This is the risky bit. OK. We have been practicing this, Giles. So. Yeah, but not long enough, clearly. That's good balance. <laughs> we'll do more work on it. So that, that's I'm the body. I'm impressed. Yeah, and I did, the, the I did it sat down. You're alive. Then we have... I did... <laughs> it's still beneficial. It's still beneficial. Finally, we have the soul. Talk to me about the soul. Improving your soul. And this week, it's make a gratitude list. Oh. What is a gratitude list? It's a way of actually saying thank you. And why do people feel better about this? Tell me. You tell me. But maybe you just realise what, what you've got. Yeah. How lucky we are. Yeah. And we are lucky. We are very lucky people. Is that psychologically it makes a difference? Oh, there's loads of research behind gratefulness lists. So it's a really good thing to do on a daily basis. Some people have gratitude journals, so it helps you to write it down. Yeah. Um, I just say it in my head, but I hold each finger as I do it. There's some research to show you that seems to resonate it's more, more kinetic, with us. So isn't it? Exactly, One, two, exactly that. three. So let's start with you. What are you grateful for today? Um, having right. Josie as my co oh. Good. Josie, that's what <laughs> makes you grateful for Josie. Well, I, I, I'm grateful for Ryland, but I'm just grateful, you know, waking up every morning, being able to take a breath. Waking up, know. that's good, that's I mean, a good I one. I think it should have been Ryland. Yeah, but... sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> and Ryland. And that's my answer. <laughs> and, well, what are you grateful for? Definitely friends. And Johannes, who's come into my life, but friends, I mean... People can... need yeah. people. Friends are key. If you've got a friend you've been meaning to call over Christmas and didn't get round to it, today's the day. Yeah. And you, Fanola, what are you offering? Well, I actually do the one that Josie did every day. I think it's quite a good one. But also um, being able to have a cup of coffee in the morning. Coffee? Quite, Why yeah, not? Keep it simple. One of our team here, she does it every day and she shares her list with her friends oh. to, ma to make her sure she does it. She actually well, hang on, Giles. Num number five, what's, what are you grateful for? Uh, who, who is that? Do you know? Nala, Nala. your cat. Nala, my cat. Oh. That's what I'm grateful for. I... Every day I'm so grateful to have her oh. in my life. Oh. No. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, that? That's a portrait of Oh, Nala. no, I thought it was a tail. I wondered where you were going with no, that cat. That was a lovely picture of the cat. What's known as a... Nala looks grateful to have you as well. Oh. There, look, there's the light. It's a lightning sketch now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so Charles, I'm loving this clinic. Yeah. Mind, body and soul. That's Keep doing these on a daily basis and as the weeks go by, you'll find you're a happier, healthier person. That's the thing to remember. Well, we're going to keep a track on it. Sure, every Monday now, don't we? Yeah, thank so we you. So we will find out how people feel in a week's time. Um, um, thank ladies, you, Annabelle. thank you. Thank you, Fanola. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Been a pleasure thank to have you. Thank you, 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 Th